Hi, I'm Paul Isaacs, Director of Product Design at Sound Devices. Welcome to our overview of the updates introduced with versions 2 and 8 of the Astral receivers and transmitters. Let's start out with a major change which adds support for the new A20HH. This is Sound Devices' first digital wireless handheld microphone. With the A20HH now fully integrated into our Astral ecosystem, you'll receive all the same benefits as the other Astral transmitters. The handheld can be controlled via NextLink, changing frequencies, settings, power levels, and more with our proprietary protocol. It also benefits from gain forward, which means you no longer have to worry about setting gain levels at the transmitter. You can simply adjust gain at the console's trim. SpectraBand lends a tuning range of 470 megahertz to 1.525 gigahertz, all in one unit. So gone are the days of swapping out mics for different frequency bands. Next up, we have a really cool new feature, AUX output routing. With this update, you can now change your receiver channel's audio output routing directly from the A20HH or A20TX transmitters. This is fantastic for applications like talkback communication, guitar tuning, or any scenario where you need to route different signals to various outputs on the fly. Using the A20HH control rings or the A20TX switch, these commands are triggered from a simple button press or the flip of a switch. We've also introduced the option to pair your transmitters to the A20 Nexus or A20 Super Nexus wirelessly, in addition to the traditional USB-C cable method. This makes setup even faster and easier, especially when you're working in large environments or on the move. Additionally, you also have the ability to hand off Nex-linked transmitters between astral receivers. Let's talk Dante. The Dante audio outputs have increased to a total of 32 channels for the A20 Nexus and 64 for the Super Nexus. For those of you working in larger systems or multi-location setups, this is a game changer as it gives you much more audio routing capability and flexibility. We've also added Dante redundancy for the A20 Nexus, which will help ensure that your audio feed remains stable even if one Dante network fails. On top of that, there's a flexible tone routing matrix and the ability to set your own tone frequencies. This is a great addition for signal integrity checks, monitoring, and troubleshooting. Moving on, the transmitter RF on and off Nexon control is now available, which gives you even more control over your RF signal. This is perfect when you need to conserve battery or make sure you're only transmitting when needed. The function can be assigned to your A20TX switch or one of the A20HH control rings. The RF on and off command can also be issued to a group of transmitters with one button press from the Nexus or Super Nexus. That's a useful feature if you want to turn on your transmitters and not blast out a whole bunch of RF into the environment while you're changing settings, such as frequency. You can also now assign a transmitter to an already populated RX channel in the TX list with the add or replace options. That's a handy feature if you need to quickly swap transmitters without messing up your setup. And here's a small but important one. Screen borders flash when a transmitter is low on battery. This visual cue makes it easy to spot when a transmitter is about to give out so you're not caught off guard. With the appropriate license acquired, certain restricted frequencies can now be unlocked for use. For example, if an operator has been granted a license to operate within a certain tuning band for a major sporting event, they can now contact us at rf underscore request at sounddevices.com to obtain the authorization code for their astral receivers to operate on these restricted frequencies. The web app has also been updated to incorporate all these new features, so you'll be able to access and control everything you need right from your browser, whether that be on a tablet or computer. This update makes managing your wireless gear more intuitive than ever. To sum it all up, the version 2 and version 8 firmware updates for the astral receivers and astral transmitters bring a ton of new features and improvements that make this already incredible wireless system even more powerful and flexible. 
Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe for more updates from us here at Sound Devices. If you have any questions or want to discuss these new features further, please reach out to us. We'd love to hear your thoughts. To sign up for our mailing list, visit the link in the description below.